Good morning, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be hauling liquid manure. We've actually been doing this for the last couple of days already. Uh, we've been going 24 hours a day with this liquid manure tanker behind me. And we've actually got quite a bit of manure out as it is, about five feet from the top. And hopefully this morning is gonna be the last day. The reason why I haven't made a video of it yet and kind of doing it just at the end here is because we've been going 24 hours a day and I've been doing the 12 hours at night, super dark and kind of difficult to film a nice video when you are working at night. So I figured today is gonna to probably be the last day that we're actually hauling and I'm gonna be doing it during the day. So make a nice video now at the end. You guys can still see the entire process even though we're all the way at the end. Pretty basic, uh, this is our manure lagoon. It's 175 feet by 175 feet by 10 feet deep and it's all nice concrete walls and concrete floor and all the manure that the cows produce in that barn right there where they're living and our parlor barn as well that produces quite a bit of wash water from washing the parlor and washing all the milk lines and the milk tank out uh, all the liquid that is produced from those two barns ends up in this pit here First gonna get this pump going here. We gotta turn the PTO on in the tractor. So there you can see that spout just shooting manure, kind of stirring it up. And there's also an impeller at the bottom of this pump that helps to stir it up as well. So we got a bunch of valves here on the ground and this is how we control that pump. I can move that spout back and forth, up and down. And with this valve right here, I can switch from spraying in that nozzle to filling up through this fill spout here. So I'll just open that up. And that's how we start to fill this tank up. So this is our liquid manure tanker. We got it behind the MX-285 quad axle tons of flotation three of those axles are actually steer and this thing is 7900 canadian gallons 7900 canadian gallons works out to about 35,000 liters so it's a massive tank it weighs over 100,000 pounds when it's fully loaded and uh, we can haul quite a bit of manure with this thing it's pretty awesome it's a lot of fun to drive you definitely feel it behind the tractor it's a lot of weight it's pushing you around you can't stop right away so you got to be careful when you're driving it but it's a beast. We also got the injectors on the back of this tank. So that's for if you want to disc it into the ground. They kind of just open up a little wedge in the ground like that and then put the manure in that wedge. They don't really inject it that much, but still kind of works the soil up. We're actually spraying it over the field. So we're using this spout here. It's going a lot quicker than it would with the injector. That's how we've been doing it this spring. This pump in the perfect world is supposed to pump about 3,000 gallons a minute. It's a little bit less than that and it takes a little over three minutes to fill this tank. So still fills it incredibly quickly. on the road and I only ever drive in 16th gear this thing has 18 total gears and that puts us around 20 miles an hour this thing will go up to 27 miles an hour but with a fully loaded tank at around hundred thousand pounds that's too much weight to be driving down the road uh, if you all of a sudden need to stop right away the tank does have really good brakes on the tank and the tractor but still it's too fast driving a bit slower it's a lot safer for everyone else that's on the road and for myself so we don't rip down the roads at full tilt, but once we're empty, we send it down full speed and yeah, we get back to the yard a lot quicker than we get out to the field.
So just back at the yard for another load. We have that fill spout just high enough so that that rubber pipe at the end there kind of flicks the end of the spout on the tank. That way, kind of looking back, you can see exactly when it flicks into the tank and then you know you're good. Otherwise, it's pretty difficult to line up to it because it is about 40, 50 feet behind the cab there. We're in the field now. We're about to dump this load. I just want to quickly talk to you guys about why we're not injecting, why we're just spraying it over the field. So you can see at the back of the spreader, we kind of got two options on how to applicate this to the field. We got the diskers. You can see all the hoses that come down. They'll inject the manure right here into kind of a ridge that that disc will open up. Or we got this spout here to which we can just spray it over the field. Uh, in the past, we've had people complain about the smell and they asked us or requested us to use these discs. And um, maybe it wouldn't smell so bad because you're not kind of spraying it through the air and then you're putting it right away on the ground, but it still smelled pretty bad. And it takes a lot longer to inject it with those diskers versus spraying it over. And all those discs do, they open up a trench about that big and then they drop the manure in that trench. And that doesn't get rid of any smell realistically. It's still open to the air in the field. A couple of things it does negatively for us, obviously it opens up all those uh, ridges in the field to which we then need to go and harrow and we have to do a bunch of extra work and extra time to smooth out our field again because you can't see it into a field with a bunch of open ridges like that. So um, that's one thing. Also, if you harrow your fields out here, super sandy soil. If we look at the ground here, it's just all fine. It's just dust basically. And if you were to pulverize your entire field, till it or whatever, it would blow in the wind and you'd lose all your topsoil. Plus using those injectors, uh, adds about two minutes to unload every single load, which is kind of unfortunate. It's just slower. We got a new tip this year for the spout and um, the old spout had a restrictor, so it kind of tightened down at the end there and it would put a lot more pressure down on this plate, spray wider. That made unloading take quite a bit longer as well, but we got the new tip on here and uh, it's going a lot quicker this year. So we're all done hauling. The pit's not 100% empty, but it's gonna get us till midsummer. I would pressure wash it off, but this beast is in the way right now. So we'll go pull the pump out of the pit. The pit is not completely empty, but we're gonna have plenty of storage to make it to August. You guys can see there all the way back there, there's quite a bit of sand dunes there, and there's only a little bit of liquid in this back corner. So basically the sand bedding from that barn right there is also pumped straight into the pit. We don't separate our sand out. So it all ends up in here. It all settles to the bottom. And unfortunately it settles along with a lot of the solid manure that's in this pit as well. And it all ends up at the bottom. And this pump in the corner here is not able to agitate the pit fast enough. And it doesn't get any of that solid manure or sand suspended in the liquid. So we end up with a ton that's on the bottom here, unfortunately. So. What we're going to do is uh, middle of summer again, we're going to hire some custom workers to come out here and hopefully they bring out their noon lagoon crawler. It's literally a boat that floats around in the pit. I made a video on it last summer and they can agitate the entire pit, stir up all the solids and then we can pump 100% of it out. So that's what we're going to hopefully do. Well guys, we were pretty successful there. We got it off without getting 
any crap on ourselves. So that worked out pretty good. All right, we got both of these things parked up beside the generator shed where our pressure washer is. It's nice to pressure wash this pump right away as soon as it comes out of that pit, just because it's still all wet. If you let the manure cake on, dry up on the equipment, it's always way more difficult to pressure wash off. So we better do this right away. job pressure washing manure equipment it kind of sucks at some points when you get a bunch of manure blasted in your face but this evening it's a Friday evening it's so nice out sun's just cooking there there's absolutely no wind and uh, what is it today April 16th or April 17th and uh, I'm just here in a t-shirt which is not usual for out here so honestly absolutely nothing to complain about if you guys can see it the pump is all the way over there nice and clean tank nice and clean which means we're done with the liquid manure all i gotta do is unhook this wagon unhook that pump and then we can switch it over to the salt manure spreader again and we can finish taking the straw pack out of those corrals but that is going to be it for today's video guys i'm super stoked that we got all of the liquid hauled out of that pit already and it's only april 16th today so that is awesome getting the year started off right getting big jobs out of the way quickly here but that is going to be it for today's video guys uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.